Mama's got to fix the top cover. Not the bottom one, the, the, this one. This is not lengthwise. There we go. I'm going to have to go into both of them. Okay. Okay, let's go to bed. Come on. Come on, honey. On the covers. Go ahead. On the covers. On the covers, back door. Go ahead. Go ahead. My little canine heater. Your mama's canine heater. So, um, yeah, the last time around, Auntie did that affidavit. It was about four pages or so. And it, she was just, you know, defending her character. And one of the things she said was, um, that she'd, which is a bunch of bullshit, she didn't spend over $50,000 having her dying sister's bucket list, but, um, that she spent all the money on, you know, that and the bucket list for the dying sister, which she did do. Um, um, she also paid some, uh, from what I know, my mom put in money too, like 500 or or 1000 um, I still want to always stress that Auntie started off well off and she could say whatever she wants to the contrary. I don't really fucking care. Like my cousin had said, she always made it out that she was so well off. So how it was ludicrous for me to think for a second she was after my mom's estates. And now she's going to turn around and say just the opposite. But whatever. Um. I doubt anyone read that, anyone in the court even read that affidavit. I told you that already. And in their eyes, it wouldn't justify it anyway. You know what I mean? It wouldn't justify it. So if if they're not going to give a shit that, that she... She took all that money from her mental ill sister because they had agreed to split whatever amount it was. If it ever came out to anything, they had a signed agreement. They agreed to split it all. Um, but you think anyone's going to care that she turned around and, and used the money to... And she definitely didn't use all of it. Don't kid yourselves. Okay? Not even close. Not even close did she use all of that substantial amount of money on her... But whatever. No one's going to care. That's the thing. No one's going to care that, that she used it for that. And I guarantee you, no one's going to care. But I doubt anyone ever even read it. Um, and as for me, I have everything documented, okay? Auntie can't be saying bullshit like my mom hasn't remained well for more than six weeks at a time. That's just bullshit. I have every hospital stay documented. The time she was in there and when she got discharged, every every regular hospital stay. Understand? I have everything documented. Every last thing. When she had the grandma. See, everything, people. The exact dates. When she went in, when she got out. When she went in, when she got out. Everything documented. So I can back up everything I say regarding that with solid proof. The pneumonia, the lithium toxicity, the, the, the what happened, in, you know, all this crap. I could back it all up with solid proof. And it all contributed to my mom's deterioration, cognitive decline or whatnot, okay? It all took a toll on her mind, body, and soul. I could definitely point out this asshole's discharger and then two days later she had to be sectioned again. I had to call the police on how sad just she had just spent almost a month and she has to go right back in. You know what I mean? That's not can't be blamed on me. She came home in a horrific condition. And you know, I have it all documented people, all of it. All of it.
Remember, I even wrote down, because I, I was so hands-on, I know all the meds she was put on in every one of these hospitals. I know exactly the meds she was put on. I know how they experiment. I know how they took her took her off stuff she'd been on for years. Like that, you know what I mean? I I know it all. I can back up everything I say regarding these hospitals. I can back it all up as solid facts. You can't say my mom does not stay well for one six weeks. You have to, you have to qualify that with over this past year, my sister has not remained well for any length of time. You know, you can't lump the two things together. My sister's been in and out of mental hospitals for four years. That's the truth, and doesn't stay well for more than six weeks at a time. It's a total fucking lie, perjury. Good night.